In this lesson, we are going to discuss the effects of changes in demand and supply on market equilibrium. In this slide, we have shown three levels of demand. This is when demand is constant, there is no change in demand. Here, when there is increase in demand or rise in demand and when there is decrease or fall in demand. With each level, we are discussing three cases of supply curve. When supply is constant, there is no change in supply, supply rises and supply falls. In this slide, we can see the breakup of each case. For example, case number one, it shows that there is no change in demand, no change in supply, so initial equilibrium point. Case two explains when there is no change in demand and if supply rises. So likewise, we have 17 uh, cases that we will discuss in this lesson. Let's start with case number one. Case number one shows no change in demand and supply and this is simple equilibrium point where E is the equilibrium point where demand curve intersects supply curve and market equilibrium price is three and market equilibrium quantity is eight. Case number two assumes that there is no change in demand curve, no shift in demand curve, only supply increases. When there is increase in supply, then equilibrium point will shift from E0 to E1. At this equilibrium point, we can notice the decrease in equilibrium price from 3 to 2 and increase in equilibrium quantity from 8 to 10. Case number 3 explains there is no change or shift in demand curve and supply curve shifts towards left which is the decrease in supply or fall in supply. Due to this shift, equilibrium point moves from E0 to E1. As a result, equilibrium prices increase from 3 to 4 and equilibrium quantity decreases from 8 to 6. Case number 4 explains that there is no shift in supply, but demand rises or demand increases. As a result, demand curve shifts from D0 to D1 and equilibrium point moves from E0 to E1 because at E1, the new demand curve D1 is intersecting the supply curve S0 at point E1. Due to this shift in equilibrium, the equilibrium price moves from 3 to 4 and equilibrium quantity increases from 8 to 10. Case number 5 explains that there is no shift in supply, but there is decrease in demand or fall in demand. As a result, demand curve shifts from D0 to D1. In this case, equilibrium is shifting from E0 to E1 and as a result, the equilibrium price moves from 3 to and equilibrium quantity moves from 8 to 6. Case number 6 is explaining the changes in both demand and supply. Here, rise in demand, which is shown with the help of this red arrow, this rise in demand is equal to rise in supply. Demand curve shifts from D0 to D1 and supply curve shifts from S0 to S1. As a result, equilibrium point moves from E0 to E1. When the changes in demand and supply are same, then the equilibrium price level will remain the same and there will be no change in equilibrium price and it will remain at 3, whereas equilibrium quantity will increase from 8 to 12. Case number 7 shows that a rise in supply is more than a rise in demand and equilibrium point moves from E0 to E1 because rise in supply is more so there will be surplus in market and due to the surplus prices will decrease from 3 to 2 and equilibrium quantity will increase from 8 to 14. Case number 8 describes that rise in demand is more than rise in supply. It means buyers are more than the sellers. As a result, there will be a shortage of the product in the market. And due to this shortage, the equilibrium price will increase from 3 to 4. Case number 9 explains that there is decrease in supply from S0 to S1 and increase in demand from D0 to D1. 
So when rise in demand is equal to fall in supply, the equilibrium quantity will remain the same and equilibrium price will increase from 3 to 5. And this is bigger jump due to the double shortage in market. One shortage is due to increase in demand and other is due to fall in supply. Case number 10 explains that rise in demand is less than fall in supply and as a result equilibrium quantity will shift from 8 to 6. Equilibrium price will increase from 3 to 5. Case number 11 explains that rise in demand is more than fall in supply. Here new supply curve S1 is intersecting new demand curve D1 at point E1. As a result equilibrium quantity will increase from 8 to 10 and equilibrium price will increase from 3 to 5. Case number 12 explains that fall in demand is equal to rise in supply. This brings the surplus in the market and the equilibrium quantity will remain the same which is 8 and prices will decrease due to surplus from 3 to 2. Case number 13 assumes that fall in demand is less than rise in supply. As a result, equilibrium quantity will increase from 8 to 10 and equilibrium price will move from 3 to 1. Case number 14 explains that fall in demand is more than the rise in supply. As a result, prices will decrease from 3 to 1. Equilibrium quantity will decrease from 8 to 6. Case number 15 assumes that fall in demand is equal to fall in supply. If fall in demand is equal to fall in supply, it will not affect the equilibrium price level in the market and equilibrium quantity will decrease from 8 to 4. Case number 16 assumes that fall in demand is less than fall in supply. As a result, due to this shortage, the prices will increase from 3 to 4 and equilibrium quantity will decrease from 8 to 4. In case number 17, we assume that fall in demand is more than fall in supply. This is case of surplus because more buyers are not willing to buy the products although there is decrease in supply. But in the end, there is surplus in the market and prices will decrease from 3 to 2. So as the equilibrium quantity from 8 to 4. So in this lesson, we have discussed the effects of changes in demand and supply on market equilibrium. That's all in this lesson. Thank you very much.